Hey everybody, wanted to kind of check in here and do a little video on a, a rabbit bit that I'm working on. Uh, I had initially done uh, this channel, C channel, uh, wood thing for the small house build. Uh, turns out looking like this. Uh, I did it all off the table saw and with a hand chisel and it took quite a bit of work. Uh, the, the table saw I was using it's only about a horse and a half and it really struggles to make make these grooves so what i thought about doing is uh doing it on the shaper because the shaper is a, a three horsepower shaper uh, i had a blade that would have worked just fine this is actually a dado blade and it fits on um, the bit for the shaper just fine uh, but i wanted it i wanted to stack like three blades in a row or more I bought I bought some bushings here, uh, 59 cent bushings. They go in between each blade, and then you can stick another one on top, and you make yourself uh, kind of a, a, a deep uh, rabbit dado type deal. Uh, I really like the the tools that Laguna Laguna Tools puts out. Uh, they have a bit. Uh, for doing something like this for your shaper, but it's like a five or six hundred dollar bit, uh, so I can't. I'm not really in the market to be buying that right now. So I'm going to make my own uh, off the same principle. Uh, so if you watch my video on saw sharpening, you know that I have a bunch of these um, old carbide blades. Uh, the problem is, is that the hole uh, that they come with isn't the right size. So uh, what I did is I went and I bought uh, this Irwin knockout blade, or knockout bit, right here. So it's a $44 bit, uh, and it works It works super, super good. Uh, this is one that I already did right here, uh, and you can see when I put the bushing over it, it's, it's a perfect match. Um, so if you buy the dado blade, which is this one right here, uh, these can go all the way up to $100 a pop. Um, this one's probably a $40 one. So I bought that bit for $44 and a bunch of bushings. These are 59 cents a pop, so like $3 worth of bushings. So I'm into this, I'm into this rabbit cutter for about 50 bucks or less. Um, but I want to kind of show you what it looks like to to mill out the holes if you're interested in doing this because um, it's pretty easy and I I just was figured I had blades to experiment with I might as well try it if I ruin it that you know oh well I couldn't find anything on online of people trying to do this so um, that's kind of why I'm making the video so uh, if you want to save yourself some money or try to make yourself uh, you know a custom rabbiting bit that can go real deep bore uh, then this is this is a good video for that so uh, i'll put the camera right here and uh, kind of go about setting up setting up the cut um, the thing that's nice about this uh, bit is that it's called the knockout bit what's really nice about this as opposed to uh, using a bit like this is that I can really line up my cut so it's you know if, it, if I had a round hole it wouldn't be so bad but with these with these uh, um, squarish holes you know it's not as easy to line the bit up and get a true center so um, you know I find my center like so and then I just go ahead and clamp her down and I'm going to probably do a, a speed up right here because I want to make sure that it, it's dead center. You, you absolutely have to have it dead center. Otherwise, um, your blade's going to wobble when you run it in the machine. So I can see right now that I, I don't have it quite center. And I went to the store uh, before I bought this bit. I went to the store to try to find more dado blades, dado replacement blades like the one that I was showing you that already had the right size hole and they don't even sell them. So I looked online and everything I found online was uh, 40 to a hundred dollars, if not more. So um, 
I would have had to wait for it to get here and I would have had to pay a bunch of money. So, and I'm not even sure if this is gonna work. I would rather just experiment with it first and make sure it works before I put a bunch of money into it and then find out it's not even gonna work. I don't even know how safe this is gonna be running this many blades on a three horse shaper. Um, usually you want it like a seven horse shape it or be running this many blades, but I'm gonna give it a shot. I'll just take it really slow. Um, the thing that's kind of unsafe about it is the kickback. So I'm gonna run it with uh, the power feeder to try to eliminate some of the kickback and try to keep it halfway safe. So I'll go ahead and mill this one out. You'll get an idea of what it looks like. And one thing I should mention, I have uh, I have my belt, the the drill press is set to the lowest speed so I don't go burning the blade or you know messing up the metal. I'm using WD-40 as a lubricant which isn't the best but um, it works good. This bit cuts right through it. One thing I should mention uh, when I talk about how good this bit cuts, this steel is actually not as hard as I thought it was going to be. So this is a, I don't even think it's a tool steel because I've milled through tool steel before and tool steel cuts, I mean, it's really hard to cut through. Uh, it's just, it's, I think it's just a regular, you know, sh uh, strong steel with, with the carbide inserts because they've all, they've all, all the holes I've milled, they've milled really easy. So um, I'll go ahead and stop here i'm going to mill the rest of these blades out and then i'll go ahead and stack it onto the shaper uh, and get the rabbit bit all assembled and then do some test cuts with it all right so uh today's a different day i'm picking back up kind of where i left off the other day uh, with the rabbiting blade uh, you can see i have my guide on i actually had to space it uh, out a little bit because the the cut was so deep i have it all the way back and um, it was still giving me a little bit too much. You can see right here, uh, I'm working on a solid door for the small house build. This is gonna be um, the bottom rail. I got the, the, the two side rails and the top right here. Uh, I still gotta cut grooves in them. Uh, this is my first pass. I went ahead and took it light just to see what it would do. Uh, it actually ran through the rabbiting bit, This the one that I made. Uh, better than the other bits that I have as far as chatter goes so this is a this is a rabbiting bit here too now the reason I'm not using these uh, there's there's actually two reasons I'm not using these uh, first one is because I don't have a three-quarter this one right here is an inch and a quarter um, my other one's an inch uh, and and neither one of them will work I want a three-quarter inch groove for a three-quarter inch rabbit uh, technically, I probably could run it on the dado, uh, with the, on the table saw with the dado blade, uh, but uh, like I said before, the table saw really doesn't have that much horsepower. Uh, when I ran it on the, the shaper here, uh, it didn't bog down at all. So, you know, I'm running five blades, five saw blades, I think, or four saw blades on this, uh, and they're all ripping, ripping blades, and it didn't bog down at all. So... 
Uh, that's what, that's really the reason I'm doing it this way is just for horsepower. I know if I ran it on the dado blade, it would have a real hard time cutting this much wood out at one time. Uh, so yeah, I did my first pass. Um, it's only a half an inch deep. I'm gonna end up going um, probably another two passes. I really I want it to kind of be um, about an inch and a half deep in there. Uh, so that's where I'm at right now um, th again this this groove right here is actually for um, the boards that'll go vertical um, for the door so they'll fit into this groove there's going to be a groove here and another groove here um, that's where I'm going to kind of start the video uh, for showing you guys this thing uh, running so I'll go ahead and I'm going to set the camera up right here um, to start out with uh, and then I'm gonna fire everything up here and we'll get to cutting so that's it for uh, the rabbit blade worked pretty darn good now all I got to do is just bust these uh, little pieces out and then uh, I'll have my groove so my boards will fit right in there and uh, the door will be started um, that's uh, that's all it is for this video so uh, hope you enjoyed it kind of a way to get around some really expensive bits so I'm gonna patch this. Uh, I'm gonna patch this in really quick. Just uh, if any of you are curious, how easy it is once you uh, once you run your dado or your rabbit in, how easy it is to actually pop the the wood out. Now I guess it really would depend on uh, 
if you were doing, you know, hardwoods or softwoods. In this case, this is that uh, Ponderosa beetle kill pine and it's a softwood. So I have a really sharp chisel here. It doesn't really matter. And all I do is just sit it in there and work it down. Now, if you had a, the right bit, you wouldn't have to do this. It would just be one cut on the shaper and you'd be good to go. Now, the advantage of this bit that I made is that I can go almost three inches deep. So you'd be hard pressed to find a tool for less than $3 that can go three inches deep. Um, even the Laguna tools might have trouble going that, that deep. Now, I wish I had a Laguna tool bit, but this will do in the meantime. And I don't know how many of you use chisels, but I can't stress enough how important it is to have a sharp chisel. I mean, this I sharpen these with the Japanese uh, Japanese water stone, and you can see how sharp that is. That's sharper than a razor blade. And I I use a honing compound too when I for the final pass. And that, that gets it extra, extra, extra sharp. And that's it. That's, uh, that's our final groove right there. I'll just keep doing the rest of them and then uh, finish this door up. I'll probably do an end video on the door so you get an idea. Um, there's only like one or two good videos on YouTube that show you how to do a solid wood door, uh, let alone a custom one that doesn't have panels and everything like that. This is a, a old rustic door. Uh, it's non-traditional, four inches wide almost. It's actually three and seven eighths after it's all plain and everything. So it's gonna be a super heavy, super strong door, 100% um, custom. So uh, that's it for now.